Hi, 21 Days to Fitness friends. This is Anita Stone, and I have my son Mark with me in the video. He wanted to be in the video today. This is day seven, and what I want to talk about is a funnel. You know how you use a funnel or something like that when you're putting oil in your car or, or when you're straining something, and it's big at the top, and then it gets smaller at the bottom. Well, what we've been talking about over the last week are some of the more broad categories of fitness. And now as we go through the next two weeks, I'm going to start narrowing these down. For example, I have told you to write down your food and write down what you're eating, adding up the number of calories, protein, and fat. But I haven't told you exactly what to eat, except for just putting limits on calories and limits on fat. There's really no limit on protein. I don't think any of you are going to eat too much protein. I think for the most part, you're probably eating too little. Over the years, um, I have met a couple of women that have said, oh, I eat a lot of meat. I mean, I, yes, I eat a whole chicken breast, and yes, I eat eggs for breakfast, and I put a whole lot of meat on my sandwich when I eat a sandwich. And, and so they are meat eaters and protein eaters, but for the most part, I think most of us are carb eaters. Even if it's fruits and vegetables and salads and, and baked potatoes or uh, cereals and things like that, all of those are mostly carbs, and for the most part, we're not getting enough protein. And this can cross over to men, just depending on the man, depending on what type of foods he likes and, and how, uh, how he's been raised, how his mom cooked, and that type of thing. And so, I've told you to do that. Now we're going to go one step further. Staying within those guidelines with the limits on calories, the limits on fat, pretty much unlimited protein, the other thing that I told you was that every time you eat, you need to eat a, a, a vegetable or a, a fruit, one or the other, preferably through the day, if you add it up at the end of the day, yeah, of the day more vegetables than fruits. Okay, so we want to weigh a little bit heavier on vegetables than fruits if we can. So we've got all of that established. Now, and these are things that you, you just have to just start doing them. And, and as you do them, over time, it will become a habit. And then you won't have to think about it. So we're learning to do those things. Now, the next thing I want you to do is actually start planning some specific foods for specific days of the week. And we'll do this for the next two weeks. Now, Mark, do you like beans? Some kinds of beans. Yeah. You don't like all beans, do you? No. Nope. What kind of beans do you like uh, pretty much all the time? Brown and black and green beans. Okay. <laughs> he likes the green beans, too. So I'm talking about mainly beans such as, um, oh, hold on, my video camera's got a pop-up here. Just a minute. This. Press no to cancel. Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> Press the wrong one. So, and, and I talked about before that we're going to have a big emphasis on beans, hopefully for the rest of your life, because really it's, it's just one of the best foods you can eat. The darker color beans are better for you, so that would be the black beans, the red kidney beans. They're a little bit better for you than the white northern beans or the pinto beans, okay? And we eat a lot of black beans. I make black beans and rice fairly often. And brown. And, and I make brown, yeah, make brown beans too. And I also make peas, split pea soup. Do you like that? A little bit? Not so much, but maybe a little bit. It, I put ham in it. He likes the ham. So I want you to schedule, just actually just take out a piece of paper out of your spiral and schedule for this week, you're going to have beans for two meals. It can be lunch or dinner or whatever. You can have it for more, but I want you to have at least two. So that will be a whole dinner or lunch that's basically a bean dish. And the second thing I want you to do is schedule two meals that are fish or seafood. That could be shrimp. I think probably the easiest thing to do is and this is what, what we like to do. We buy the bag of shrimp. It's about this big by this big. It's $5 at Walmart. And it's already cooked 
frozen, peeled, deveined shrimp. I mean, there's just no cooking with that shrimp. You just, you can thaw it out and eat it. You can put it in hot water for, for just a minute or two until it's hot and it's done. You can put it on top of salad. You can eat it by itself. You can even put it on skewers and go take it out and put it on the grill for a couple of minutes and just brown it on both sides, which is really good. So Isn't there's that what we eat usually. Yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do with that. If you're going to buy fish and you go to the frozen section in the grocery store, you'll find all kinds of these fishes that are in packages and they're they're seasoned. Like there will be a lemon pepper fish and there will be a Cajun fish, and they've put oils and and seasonings. They put things in these fishes obviously to make them taste good because they want you to buy their fish. But they're overpriced and they put extra oils and butters in there that you don't need. So if possible, yeah, if possible don't buy those. I mean really and you're really just kind of wasting your money anyway. You don't have to buy fresh fish. I do always buy frozen. When we were in Florida I would buy fresh a lot more often. But for the most part I buy frozen. So we're going to get two meals of fish. Salmon is good if you want to get that. And that's really good on the grill. And, and bean. So we're going to do the bean and the fish this week. And if you can eat more than two meals of those, that would be great. Try to do that. And so that's our assignment for this week for day seven. Write me if you have any questions. Send me a text on our phone number that I gave you or write me on email and I'll write you back as soon as I can. Mark, does that sound like something that you, we could do for this week? Yeah. Okay. Everybody have a fit day. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me. Bye.